back to our channel with Ricardo and Coral, although it's just Coral today. And because I'm going to give you a pregnancy update, I asked some questions a few weeks ago to see what you guys wanted to know about my pregnancy and how things are going. I asked on Instagram and also here on YouTube, so I'm going to give you an update. So currently, at the moment, I am 30 weeks going on 31 weeks, so by the time this video comes out I will be 31 weeks. My symptoms, so obviously I'm quite far on in my pregnancy now, I only have What's that like nine ten weeks left until my due date from tuesday the 31st i'm officially nine weeks away from giving birth if that's the date i give birth symptoms from the beginning and the only way i knew i was pregnant is obviously because my period was late so i was like mm, more than likely i am pregnant because i'm never late so that's how i knew i was pregnant because my period didn't come on symptoms sickness morning sickness i did not have any morning sickness i have thrown up four times though in this pregnancy and that is because probably my own fault really it would always be on a saturday so three times was on a saturday and one time was on a friday night basically because i woke up early in the morning the doctors say that you should wake up earlier than you normally do and give yourself a bit more time but I got up I kind of rushed things in the morning I didn't eat and I was really hungry and when you're hungry and you're pregnant you feel sick so I threw up that was the first time didn't quite make it to the toilet the first time because I was teaching a lesson online so as I was like teaching I was like I'm gonna be sick so I kind of threw up a little bit and then I ran down the stairs and then I threw up on the stairs and then I threw up in the toilet lovely story and then the second time I did make it to the toilet because um, I kind of felt like I wasn't so good and again because I just rushed around too much and then the third time it was really strange it just came on all of a sudden and the fourth time again it was in the evening though it was a Friday evening I'd eaten and then I just felt really sick really weird so I threw up in the toilet where you meant to throw up great I have had also scratchiness so they say that that's quite common in pregnancy too um, I had a blood test a couple of weeks ago to see if it was like something to do with liver because I think it can be like a liver problem but I haven't heard back from them and they said if I don't hear back it's a good thing. Basically one day I scratched myself so much that my leg was bleeding um, because I'd scratched all my scabs off from where I'd previously scratched. So basically I scratched myself so much that I scratched my skin off. Um, I feel like it's getting less now though. I'm not scratching myself as much which is good because I don't want to have lots of scratches and blood and all of that. I've had a lot of leg cramps while sleeping. My leg likes to cramp a lot. It's when I like stretch when I like wake up and I think like from tensing my muscles. And it's always in the same leg. I have not got any stretch marks at the moment either on my tummy. I think I'm just lucky. I mean I've been using bio oil. I use that twice a week and then I moisturise. I'm really bad at moisturising though. But then I do moisturise so I feel like I'm just lucky with not having any stretch marks unless that bio oil is actually helping but fingers crossed in the last like few stages that I'm not gonna get stretch marks from him growing too much because he's been like a steady grower very very steady so I started off quite small and then I've just gradually started growing a bit more in the month of November that's when I grew the most from the beginning to the end you can definitely see a difference in November so some of your questions if I go to the ones that I found on Instagram so a couple of ones actually that people have asked is if we thought of any names so we have thought of names, we do have a name, but we're not going to tell you the name until the baby's born, just because that is actually my choice, Ricardo would probably happily tell everybody, but I don't want everybody to know. But we will do a little video soon about names that we thought of and names that we have had a list of, because we have had a list of names. And it did take us not long at all to choose a name actually, we knew a name before we knew what gender it was. This is a question from Ricardo. Has anyone thought you were just fat? Maybe, but nobody has said it at the beginning. Because there's always that stage in between like being fat and being pregnant where you just have like a little tummy. That was me at the beginning of November. I had like a little tummy and that was probably my looking fat stage but I'm not actually fat. And then at the end of November is when people started to actually notice that I was pregnant. Another one from Safi, my friend. What are the best and worst things about your pregnancy so far? Best thing, I thought it was going to be really weird actually, is feeling him in my tummy. Sometimes it can be uncomfortable, like right now he is moving. 
and it's gotten to the stage where it's not really kicks anymore. And sometimes it could be a kick, but a lot of the time it's, it is him just like moving for like more space or something, or he's got uncomfortable, I don't know. But it's not so much kicks anymore. But there was one day where I didn't feel his kicks and I was like, oh no, is he still there? Is he still alive? Is he okay? Um, but then he kicked a little bit later on. He normally wakes up in the morning when I wake up and gives me a little nudge to say, I'm awake too. And then in the afternoon he'll like kick around as well, and especially in the evening when I'm relaxing but yeah that day he wasn't and then he did later on after I'd eaten the worst thing about pregnancy is I don't know so the feeling sick even though I've been lucky and only been sick four times but at the start I felt sick if I didn't eat all the time so that was definitely like a worst thing about it because if I had stretch marks I would say that's the worst thing this is a question from lost in Quebec and Sandra and Federica is the baby moving a lot what is she missing more about food? The baby, yes, he moves. He definitely moves a lot, like all day, all the time. I don't really think there's a time where he's not moving unless I'm like outside walking, which isn't very often. That's probably the only time he's not moving. Apart from that, I feed him like at least an hour, like every hour. Um, what do I miss about food? I don't miss anything about food because I, there's nothing like I've given up. I eat everything that I would eat normally because I don't eat meat. So I haven't had to cut out raw meat. I don't eat sushi, so I haven't had to cut out raw fish. Oh, mayonnaise. They say don't eat raw eggs, but I eat mayonnaise. But I think it's like in moderate. Don't have too much of this. Don't have too much of that. I think if you have a little bit of it, it's not going to like kill you, is it? So one from Sophia. Sophia, did she start having contractions yet? And are you guys going to film Coral delivering? No, I haven't had any like of those Braxton... Braxton Hicks, I think they call it. I haven't had any of those. Maybe, you never know, in the next few weeks I might. When you like have fake contractions, I think it's your body getting ready to give birth, but it's like fake. And are we gonna film the delivery? No. I couldn't think of anything worse than having a camera in my face when I'm trying to push a baby out. <laughs> Maybe like we'll film like a little bit before we go to the hospital or something, say, oh, it's time. This is us, we're on the way to the hospital. But really it just depends if that's like a thought that's going through my mind at the moment or Ricardo's mind. Because it, honestly, it might not be. So we'll just see. I'd rather just get the baby out and I don't really want to film me pushing him out. No is the honest answer. We'll teach Tannin to the baby. Of course, we're going to teach Italian to the baby, so our rule is going to be Italian in the house, outside we're going to speak English, so really it's just me that has to like actually get back into Italian and actually start speaking Italian because I'm really bad, we're quite lazy, so I need to start doing that, I need to start doing that soon, otherwise I will not get used to it and I'll be rubbish, so I have to start, I have to make myself dedicate some time every day to learning Italian and speaking Italian, isn't that right Riccardo? Yeah. What cravings have you had in your pregnancy? Cravings? I have not had any cravings. Especially like weird cravings, you know some people have weird cravings. I've had no cravings at all. I just, um, I eat what I want to eat. Um, I wouldn't say anything's a craving. Um, it's just I wanted to eat it in that moment, so I ate it. This is the last question that I have. In what month will it be born? <laughs> in March. March the 3rd is the due date, like I said, that is nine weeks on the 31st of December. And then I finish work on February the 14th for maternity leave, yes. And then after that, hopefully the baby doesn't take too long to come out. I'll be happy if he's early, probably a little bit sad if he's late because I kind of just want to have him out now. I just keep imagining holding a little baby and having a little baby next to me um, in bed. But that's everything, that's all the questions. Um, if you do have any other questions then you can put them in the comments box below and I will get back to you. Um, we're going to do some videos like to do with the baby coming up so we'll do like baby's names. Once we've got all the baby stuff I'd like to show you like everything that we've got for him like clothes and accessories and maybe nappies and wet wipes and all of that. Hopefully by that time soon we'll be popping them out. Um, so we'll see you in our next video on Sunday. Bye! Done, Ricardo. Oh, I need a wee.